we owe it to the world to bring this to an end. We have to stop it. We cannot go through losing another generation of young people. We put our heart and soul into our work. I really think that HIV vaccines are the way to go. Vaccines are the answer for HIV, and I'm so pleased to be here doing this. Anything I can do to help is important. With every volunteer, there is hope. I think it's really important to make sure that you understand everything, all the procedures. It's okay. Do it. <laughs> Every day and every minute and every hour that it takes us to find a vaccine, that means somebody else is becoming infected or dying or being orphaned by HIV. Brenda Larkin works on the front line of HIV prevention. Today we're trying to first and foremost educate the public about HIV vaccine research and we want people to know that we do not have a vaccine right now. Larkin is part of a global network that is attempting to discover, test and develop a vaccine to prevent HIV. Building public support for that HIV vaccine research is critical. We actually need a large, diverse population because we're trying to ultimately find a globally effective vaccine. It's something that can actually work on everybody. You have to explain to people you cannot get HIV from these vaccines. You can't get HIV from the vaccine. You cannot get HIV from, these, from participating in these clinical trials. Larkin is one of the faces of HIV vaccine research. She's part of a global effort by the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases to test and evaluate potential vaccines. Research sites in the United States and around the world are part of a collaborative public-private effort to discover a safe and effective preventive HIV vaccine. It's the magnitude of the problem and the complexity of the HIV virus that make it such a great challenge. Every day there are more than 14,000 new infections and 7,000 deaths. Time is critical. But even the most successful vaccines can take years to develop and test. When potential vaccines do emerge from the lab, they'll be tested on human volunteers, first in small-scale safety trials, and then in progressively larger and more diverse populations to ensure they're safe and effective. Those volunteers must be healthy and HIV negative. All right, thank you. Thank you. The reason I wanted to do this is because AIDS is just a, uh, such a huge disease and it's um, killing so many people, um, not just here in the United States, but around the world. As you've noticed, probably there's a lot of safeguards built into our research process. We just want to make sure everything goes right. Okay. It's going to be a little stick. Okay. All right. Okay. All set. All right. There you go. How was that? It's just been a great experience from the get-go. Every very, very friendly. It's relatively painless, and we really couldn't ask for a better experience from a patient standpoint. I feel like I'm one of the people that's helping find the way to get rid of AIDS and to keep those people in Africa and the United States and Southeast Asia alive that really wouldn't have a chance without a vaccine. Oh, it's fine. Great. You know, a little great. stick in the arm, and everything's good. You know, we're gonna find a vaccine, hopefully, to prevent HIV right. infection one day and each volunteer is going to be how we get to that point. So okay. we really want to thank you today for being that volunteer. Take care, Teddy. And you know, if you have any questions or concerns, you can give us a call. We can only imagine what the day will be like and how magnificent it will be when we have a, a vaccine that can actually spare millions of lives from AIDS. We've learned in the last few years to use HIV prevention programs to teach people to change their behavior. We've also learned that there are drugs people can take to control HIV infection. Our hope is to end the HIV epidemic by finding a vaccine. To get there means that we need hundreds of thousands of volunteers. And it's very important for us to include women, African Americans, Latinos, and especially young people. We need the public to understand that HIV vaccine research cannot proceed without their participation. The effort that an individual participates in, in any given city, is part of a global effort to find an HIV vaccine. How will you help end the AIDS epidemic? How will you help end the AIDS epidemic? How will you help end the AIDS epidemic? How will you, How will you help, help end, end the AIDS, AIDS epidemic? epidemic?